Hello, welcome into the most beautiful, powerful, heartful beings on the planet. I hope you're doing really well. I've just been meditating on the energy for this one because this is an ancestor message and they're telling me to tell you all, real ones only, all right? They don't want people getting any false ideas. They're saying you will know in your heart and spirit if you've always held the frequency of God. This is a message for the true spiritual warriors. So it's going to be interesting because there's a gift showing up on your path and uh, they're surrounding you. I'm getting a really warm ancestral energy of celebration. And during my meditation, I'm getting the song that was on Sister Act, Oh Maria. Oh, Maria, triumph for ye, seraphim. So this is a triumph for the angels, okay? It's very uplifted, very joyful. So let's see what they've got. We've got authority here. Divine authority is giving you everything you want, okay? So people may have tried to mess with your bounty. People may have tried to mess with your pathway, with your loot. But at the end of the day, it's up to God. God sees all. The deities see everything. Now, they are giving me Bastet Sekhmet energy here. So there's this connection to Egypt, this connection to universal law, this connection to truth that you have, which is why Spirit is saying, real ones only for this one, you know if you've got the authority and you know if you've been on that pathway your whole life, you know that you glow, right? So they're saying, this is for you. This is for you, the one who's been doing it their own way for so long. Passion ignited here with the Ace of Wands energy. So... This is that bursting upwards. It's a divine flame. So I feel like the flame is being lit in your life, okay? They're comparing this to the sacred temples in Rome and ancient Persia, anywhere where they kept the flame lit because they understood what it meant, okay? So you're someone who's kept the flame lit. You're someone who's kept the sacred flame of your heart lit for so long and they're saying you might not get any recognition of the humans. They might look at all the real ones like we're crazy. But God sees and your ancestors are circled around you. See how we've got this circle here and then we've got the circle here. Your ancestors are circled around you. So I'm going to do a storyboard with this one and we're going to get all cosmic and metaphysical and see what's coming in. Show me what this gift from the ancestors is connected to. We've got the seeker of spells here, which is Knight of Wands energy. So again, that flame, look at you following your own flame. Knowing that when you've got ancestral messages coming in, when you've got that beautiful heart, you know the pathway and you know by how it feels. We've got the seven of pentacles here, the seven of boons. And this is interesting because you had to find a doorway here. I'm getting you had to find a doorway in the night. So that could be literal or they could be talking about going through a sacred chamber. This is a psychological chamber you had to go through. It could have felt dark. We've got the forge here, which is temperance energy, alchemical perfection. I'm hearing you've reached a level of alchemical perfection. Show me what next temperance, your own personal way of doing things. God doesn't want mindless people following words written in books. God wants people following their hearts and you're one of the real ones. There we go. The oldest one, the hierophant energy. So this is about your tree of life and what you're building non-physically or should I say etherically? You know, I don't really like using the term non-physical because it gives people the impression that once we die, we are vapor. Now, once we die, we are etheric, but we are just as real as, as we are. It's just our body isn't made of flesh. You know, it's not that low in density. You have an etheric body. And I don't know why that's coming up so powerfully with this circular fiery energy. It's like your etheric body has come alive. I'm getting this energy of only the best, only the purest souls, only the ones who can maintain their mastery and their childlike essence at the same time. Only they get given the sacred flame of their own internal guidance to guide them to the rainbow, to the foot of the rainbow. Okay, so you could relate to pagan culture, you could relate to universal law. I'm hearing zodiac here. So someone could have been going into their own unique birth chart. That's what it's all about finding our own uniqueness amidst so many people who want us to all be the same and follow, you know, the false spirituality because it gives them a short-term sense of comfort. You went for the gold. You didn't go for the short-term comfort here because you're powerful and you knew that and you knew there were many doors tempting you. But ultimately, you are who you are and when you follow your heart, you get exactly where you need to be. So that Hierophant energy is really interesting here because I feel like you've finally become who you were always meant to be. And it sounds so simple. It sounds so simple, but we've got to kind of reverse engineer our minds often to take back what we were all along. We've got the Four of Cups here. 
And the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Challenges, something in your life was boring you. So you decided to take up a bigger challenge, I'm getting. And it's something about your power, feeling restless, feeling like this isn't enough. I need more here. Child of Visions here. Page of Cups energy, Secret Visions, Knight of Cups energy. And the Three of Cups here with this Nine. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Visions. Only the ones who've got... The soul, there's something coming up about the cleverness of the soul. To be what humans would see as wrong or bad or different or that's the test from God. God wants to know that you don't care what they think of you. And then your wishes come true. So that's really relevant for somebody. The fact that no one else could see it but you. No one else could feel it but you. Your power, right? They couldn't feel your power. No one ever can because they cognitively dissonate. Oftentimes, unless there's something in it for them, people don't genuinely often like seeing people in their power. It's a primal threat to see someone glowing, right? It's a primal threat. And their mind can do, do all sorts of mental gymnastics, but spirit sees everything. You've cut through all of the fog and the murkiness of overlapping frequencies. It's like radio signals that hang in the air. And there were so many radio signals you could have got pulled into, but you cleared it up with the Ace of Swords and you followed your own beautiful, perfect mind. Something about perfection with you. Bringing in these gifts, let's see. Flexibility here. You'll need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. You did see in the dark. You created your own torch here. Could have kept things secret from other people. Maybe no one understood you. This is sacred. This is your pathway with that which you call God the oldest one. And this is why you're getting all this good luck and all these blessings coming in. I'm getting a car for somebody. You could find that somehow you win a car or somehow you get a car because you're in the flow. You're on your highest timeline. You're on the pathway of your greatest satisfaction. You can write down the comments. I'm on the pathway of my greatest satisfaction, maximum happiness. And I've got all the good luck. You know, this is the luck of the Irish. This is leprechaun luck all over your pathway because spirit loves a cheeky one. And what I'm getting is there's something about you. Maybe you've been around other spiritual people. I mean, I'm getting the vibe of someone who maybe went to church in America and they kind of mess your head up, right? And maybe from their positioning, they were trying to act like you were ungodly because they're all upside down and back to front and desperate for power and comfort and whatever the hell their animal mind tells them they need. I feel like you've dealt with people who thought they were spiritual or thought they were pure. And maybe you seem like the cheeky one or the rebellious one or the spirited one. Spirit saying, yeah, the feral cherubs are the real cherubs. You think you can get to perfection without doing things that others see as being wrong? I feel like you had to do things your own way. And that's why God trusts you now. Because he doesn't like people who just go where everyone else is going because they got told to go there. You know, your frequency is being monitored and and picked up all of us 24 seven, we are the universe and the universe is us. So there's no hiding the energy, right? And God's seen your magnanimous flow. God's seen how you stay tapped in to the divine realm. And that's why they're saying some people could be getting a little bit envious. Yeah, protection coming out here because your loot is going to be so noticeably big compared to theirs. You're going to be one of those small percentage of people who actually do what Abraham Hicks says and actually conjure their own reality. And it's gonna cause a reaction in the people that are going to be spellbound. They're going to be like, how did they do that? How did they do that? How did they get all these blessings? Because they were probably judging you all wrong, right? Because they always do. But, you know, you're a great match to your highest timeline. You are a match to your highest timeline now. So they're saying you could you could get so used to the loot flowing in that you end up being like, whoa, this is just my new normal. This is just normal. Everything I want comes to me. I am a magnet for everything I love. On this day, I will focus on my desires and live my life in abundance. And this is you now. You are on the abundant pathway. You are the abundant pathway. The next full moon brings with it realms of possibility for me. So, interesting. Let's get some rider weights and we'll see if we can get any more about this ancestral blessing. Show me. Yeah, it's been saved for you. It's been saved for you because there's something about these gifts being for you. 
right? And maybe you're really generous like most of the Cherubima and you want to share with the whole world and you want it to feel like you're backstage and everyone's, you know, in it together and it's all fun and games, but that's the truth backstage. Front stage spirit does not want people sharing in what you've earned by picking the right door when they didn't pick the right door. Ten of Swords energy here. Some of them may have even been happy to see you lose. Some of them probably didn't know that you had this internal light. Because with the Ten of Swords showing up here, if you'd have followed their pathway or if you'd have done what you saw other people doing, instead of following that beautiful golden spirit of God, it would have left you in a bad spot. Death energy here. We always have to transform. And we control the direction of our transformation with our choices. And your independence here is what saved you. Your independence. I'm seeing that there was a pathway you could have taken. And it would have really stunted your soul's development over multiple incarnations. But what Spirit has shown me is the fact that you made the right choice to follow your own light. You've, you've really mega-minded your spiritual development. Because they show me gold bars at like one, two, three. But the alternate pathway would have been the absolute opposite. So you picked the beautiful golden pathway. You built yourself up. Look at this, like five gold bars right there on this one's belt. So you're all chained in with gold now. And I do for this Egyptian connection. We've got the uh, forge card, the alchemy card, trans, uh, why are they giving me transfiguration, transmutation, temperance energy with the two of pentacles. So it took a lot of tries and spirit's giving me that example of everyone sees the loot, everyone sees the bounty on the surface. Once that cake's baked and once you've put all the candles on and once you put all the decorations on, they see that and they think, oh, what a nice cake. They don't see all the times you baked when you were four years old and you messed the kitchen up. They don't see all the times you felt like an idiot because you couldn't match up with Nigella's cake. They didn't see all the practice. But they want to share in the result. And that's what I'm getting here. You, you're protected, but you being consciously aware of all this is so much more helpful because then spirit can be like double the protection. So you can type down the comments, I've got double the protection. They really recognize you as having done the work. Ten of wands energy here. Most people get distracted at the third wand is what they're telling me with this. Most people give up. They can't take uh, something about humiliation, something about the animal mind and the way it feels when we feel like we've made a mistake. Because life or death, right? We've got this animal nature that even when we're alone in our room, if we feel like we've made a mistake, we can get self-conscious. We can feel certain things. And you battled with this and you got past this. Because my oh my, do they throw it at you when you've got all these energies around you, forcing you to be flexible like a ninja, a psychological ninja, forcing you to move and be in the flow. Yin realm energy, water energy, very important here. You had to dodge a lot of crazy things and just stick to your guns. We've got the world card here. That beautiful heart, and I'm seeing an icy blue blending into a more Persian royal blue with the child of visions. There's nothing the angelic realm love more than a beautiful cherubim of soul with a bit of cheekiness and a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of spirit, a bit of that je ne sais quoi. They love to fulfill your vision of the world because that's what you're here. You are God's artist. You are an artist of God. And most people forget that when they come here and they get distracted and then they think they can tell us what to do. But uh, you're someone that the gods love to laugh with. You're someone that the gods love to tinkle with. So, so maybe you hear bells or maybe they do little tricks with you with coins or rings or jewelry. There's something trinkety about the way they deal with people with the pure childlike spirit. And that's what I'm getting for you. These gifts coming in for you. It could be a ring or it could be something small and valuable. I'm getting. Queen of Cups energy falling on the floor. I'm going to shuffle it back in. But again, focusing on that heart. And again, you could have a lot of nurturing for other people. With the Queen of Cups showing up, this has all been recognized. Everything we do is recognized. Everything we do counts, right? Whether we're alone or around other people. You could have escaped a period of... Complete dissatisfaction and anxiety here. And it's so beautiful that you have the power to get out of any box of the mind because that's what the Eight of Swords is. It's being stuck on a signal of the mind and feeling dejected and feeling like what's the point kind of energy. Well, you found a point. You were flexible and protected and you found something new to pique your interest, I feel. Something to keep you going that could have become so much more because we've got the page to the Knight of Cups here. 
the chariot with the tower, something going terribly, terribly wrong has given you your greatest victory because it retuned you to the divine. It retuned you to the imaginative layers. And I know you're one of those people looking back thinking humans are so funny. We go through these things with these towers and things that feel so bad to our animal nature because we just want to be safe and comfortable. And it's so funny that these things lead us to our greater destiny. I know you're one of those people looking back thinking, thank God that tower happened. I didn't want to be trapped in that tower. And we all are like this. Some of the worst things that happen to us, sometimes we look back at it, hindsight is 2020, and we think, crikey, thank God I got out of that one. And that's what I'm getting here, the chariot energy, getting the hell out of Dodge. I mean, if there were two cards to convey getting the hell out of Dodge more than the tower and the chariot, I don't know what it is. This is like driving away from a crazy town full of cannibals kind of thing. That's what I'm getting here and going into the bliss, the cooling pool of, it's almost like Christ energy here, that cooling elixir of the heavenly divine lake of healing. It is gorgeous. I feel like the energy that drew you on was so much more preferable to maybe power in numbers. I feel like there's something about you being independent escaping ideas of power and numbers we've got the hanged man here so you're submitting to the celebration with the three of cups and i do love the bear energy two of swords energy here you've put in a lot of work and you've solidified who you are with the hierophant and the ace of swords here three of swords showing up and the nine of wands okay it could be that there are still some defenses with you because we've got all this celebration coming out but there is Oh, I feel like you you could be in a bit of a limbo between wanting to protect yourself and wanting to be on a frequency of fresh starts, new friendships, partying, celebration, happiness, honeypot. This is like Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and Tigger, right? It's really cute energy here. But I feel like you are just sort of burning away some previous rain clouds and some previous pains and as much as we want to escape pain so quickly we do it does wallpaper our bodies our souls our minds a little bit so I feel like you're still going through a little cycle of being self-protective while this wheel turns while your destiny gains momentum here there's a submission required a relaxation all right so your nervous system could need to be a little bit comforted you could really you know just need to pamper yourself be the parent to yourself, treat yourself the way you would treat the most precious toddler, treat yourself the way you would treat the most precious cherubima, because that's who you are, that's what you are here, I am going to clarify this, because I, I want more for the hanged man energy, wow, loads today, loads, we've got the letter T, oh, dro I dropped it, but it's the letter T, I was getting Teresa, coming through here and we've got this bird flying free you are escaping hmm you are moving through a cycle of getting rid of old disappointments and those old energies that kind of it's like a spider's web you know an old web that you're kind of just sort of untangling yourself from strand by strand you know and then you're going to be ready to mix things up beautifully in these new friendships, warm, caring, trustworthy, comfortable friendships. What is this? This is the fairy bringing you trinkets of magic. She's holding the whole world for you. And you can have whatever you want as above, so below, right here with the Star of David. Okay, so you've done it. You're bringing all the different spheres of consciousness you're bringing together so you can work in harmony with the divine. Okay, we've got a seashell and a starfish here. So you could be visiting a beach. They're saying life's a beach. Life's a beach, all right? So maybe life was a bitch before, but now you're putting your feet up fully protected. They want you to say this, I am fully protected. And there's something about this net, right, with your gifts. They're saying you deserve your gifts, all right? You could have been really used to being in warrior mode. And they're saying someone's going to be crying right now. For some reason, someone's going to be purging themselves because we have to be such strong warriors and then we are expected to untangle ourselves from all of that survival mechanism and then we're supposed to be teddy bears and I kind of feel like that's what you're doing you've always been a teddy bear but bears have claws and I feel like you've had to maybe use your psychological claws quite a lot or just be defensive in ways you didn't want to have to be defensive in so that's why this Winnie the Pooh honey energy is coming in spirit saying remember why you were a warrior we become warriors so we can maintain what we value, which is heaven on earth. 
And so often with God's best warriors, we can be so good at being warriors, we can forget what it's all for. And now it's time for you to gently bounce into your new life. Show me. Unexpected income. There's that gift right here, 27. They're saying don't be in despair if you've still got a bit of anxiety, PTSD, something like that. They're saying you're still blessed, you're still gifted. They just want you to be in a warm, beautiful energy, a bubbly teddy bear energy for these gifts to pop up. For anyone who's struggling out there, you've got the good luck, all right? You've got the stability. Now, this could be a soulmate coming in with the courtship card, something unexpected popping up. They're saying when we're in that Winnie the Pooh bear level energy, just feeling happy and bumbling along and looking for the fun things in life, that's when the cool ones pop up. All right, but someone I'm talking to has had a lot of despair. You had to be really flexible. You had to be really tough. And this is why the divine's giving you all your blessings, okay? I feel like you held on to your royal status. You never let anyone treat you like crap. Even when you were in bad health, I feel like you dodged and ducked and dived away from them. There's something about your family, your bloodline, being an honorable divine household, or you sticking to your own guns, okay? You could be a lone ranger and this could be referring to your divine family. But what I'm getting here is you represented something properly with this coat of arms and maybe you did it alone, which is why these things are popping up on your timeline so powerfully. I'm getting an kind of all or nothing energy, rags to riches, from despair to pure heaven. So you may still have thoughts popping up you know, because we all have this, it's circular, you know, we get things coming back around on the carousel, so we can deal with them a bit more healthily, you know, every time they circle around. But these blessings are yours, they're saying, these blessings are yours. I'm hearing bumblebee. So that could mean something to somebody, go get that honey, my love, I hope this reading's helped. Mwah.